Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to install a wiring harness on a M1101102 trailer. Um, we're going to, we got this wiring harness uh, that we're going to show you how to install. Now we've already removed the old wiring harness. That should be uh, fairly self-explanatory to you. Um, now one of the first things I want to say is uh, the, the absolute easiest way to do this, if you want, is uh, and I don't do this because I like to keep the, the old one. But if you have no use for the old one, um, you have four wires here. Now what you want to do is, is uh, attach these, you know, cut them off, give yourself plenty of wire. Attach the ground to the ground. Cut off three of these, it doesn't matter which ones. Um, and connect them to your wires before we even get started. And uh, then it's just a matter of uh, plug and play. Very simple. I'm not going to do that today because, like I said, I like to save these. Um, I uh, I connect the wires, I solder them, and uh, shrink them, and uh, I feel that's best for me. But I don't recommend uh, any specific way. Do it any way you want. Um, but this is absolutely the easiest way if you do that. So uh, let's get started. Now I uh, roughly just threaded it through where the old one was, the same same route. Got it hanging there, and then I, uh, I backed up my truck and plugged it in. Of course, my truck is off for now, and now we're gonna crawl underneath the trailer. Okay, guys, we're underneath the trailer. This is where you disconnected the original uh, harness, and as you're familiar with, it had all these. Now, on mine, like I said, I, I just cut the ones off that I needed. Um, if you decided to use the ones on your old harness, at this point, you just plug and play. Um, now you're going to look for for three wires. You're going to look for, you see that, how they're all tagged? You're going to look for three. Uh, one that's marked 22, and a tag this is 460. One that's 22, 461, and a 21. Okay. Now, like I said, this is just temporary. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to permanently install these. I'm going to solder them and shrink them, but I don't need to show you that. So what I did, the ground is to the body. It does pretty obviously. So I ran the white temporarily to the ground, just to show you. Okay. I ran the green wire. It's the one that's tagged 22, and the second tag is 460. The uh, yellow wire is tagged 22 and 461. Okay. And then the brown wire is tagged uh, 21 and I don't know what the other number was, 489, but there's only 21, um, or there's only one 21 that you need to worry about. So as you can see, I just loosely put these on there um, to show you what, what happens. Okay guys, and this is what's gonna happen. You got your left turn, you got your right turn, You got your brake lights, and of course you got your marker lights, lots of them. Those were the front ones, the rear ones, of course. So you got a total of 13 uh, light bulbs, uh, and we're assuming that you already replaced those to the 12 volt light bulbs. Um, anyways, it's as simple as that, guys. Uh, we are done. I'm going to permanently uh, connect my wires and then uh, attach my wiring harness uh, to the frame like the old one and I am set to go. Um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to email me but like I said it's very simple. Um, thanks a lot.